All right, welcome back to the channel. So it's the new year, and I want to go over Fidelity Active Trader Pro and what I use for my day trading setup. And I'm just going to give you some things that I like to use that I believe would be very helpful if you choose to use this platform to do your trading. You can do swing trading on this. You can do any type of trading. So let's just jump right into it. So here, you need a chart to look at. So on the top tabs, you have all access to everything. You click under Charts, and you click New Chart. And what you do is, since I have this on like my second monitor, I like to spread this out pretty big. I'm going to make it really big so we can just really see everything on it. And we're going to type in, we'll use any stock. It doesn't really matter. Let's just pick one that everybody plays. So AMC. So now you type in here, in here, whatever you want to play. And you can type in Tesla. You could type in Apple. And it'll bring up the chart for you. Now it's a really cool feature is that you will click this link tool. In this link tool, you can make it a color. And the reason I'm showing this right away before we go over how to add, what to add to your chart, is you can link it, so I make it blue, so you see it's blue. And now if I bring up the trade symbol, so I wanna make a trade, because you can't just look at charts in your program. When you, I'm just gonna lower this a little bit. If you go under trade and orders, and then you go under directed trade and extended hours, this box pops up. And then if you were to click this box link tool and you click the same color as here, the blue, every time that you, ch it won't show because we're in the after hours, but if I switch to, let's say, Alibaba, it will link to the directed trade tab and you'll be able to make your trades directly here. It'll follow whatever you do. So if you think something else is moving and you click on AMC, this directed toolbox will change and the ticker will be there to buy and sell and it'll follow that price, which is a really cool thing. So now I just want to go over how should you set up your chart? And this is very important. So when you first click on it, it already gives you the volume on the bottom, which is very important because you want to see what the volume is. And what's cool about this is you can really speed up your, 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 your actual trading because instead of clicking here, the two day, five day, 10 day, or the one minute, you can change the time frames, but it's kind of slow. What you can do is the first thing is you can make the boxes be up here. So this is today, this is the one year, and you can hit this plus sign up here and you can label it whatever you want. So make it five minute. And then you go while you're, as long as you're highlighted under this tab, you switch this to the five minute and then now and you click under today and now every time you click on this it's going to save here so you click on today it shows the today in one minute and now you click over here and it'll show five minute and look it changes to the five minute so if you were watching a stock and you want to see the five minute chart to see the five minute candles you could just click here let's say you wanted to have six months on it. you just click the tab Click here, put six months, and that doesn't change it. You have to go down here and click on six months, and this shows the daily right here. So it's showing it. Now, how do we actually change this? Because this looks weird with all these little boxes. So I go under settings, and then I go to chart type. And what I do is I change it to hollow or standard, whatever you want to do. You can change it to standard, and you can go through the thing and change it. And look, it changes my box right here, which is really nice. So you go here and you can go to candlestick and you can switch to anything. If you want lines, you want a mountain. Now, I don't know why anybody would pick these, but it's just cool because Fidelity really offers a lot of different settings that you can use to trade. So, and that I've never seen this before, point and figure. I don't recommend this for trading because I don't even know how you'd even do that, to be honest. I guess because it's showing the prices up and down. What I use is the candlestick standard, and you can change the colors. So if it's going up, it's green, or you can change it to blue, however you like it. I keep it green and red, green for money, red for losing money, just to make it nice and easy. And then you hit apply. And then you see the volume down here. Now we need some more indicators. I always talk about in my previous videos, I talk about RSI. So RSI is very important. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna click under indicators. And then it gives you this whole list that you could do, which is really cool. And you can add this, and it's good to play around with these. But I would definitely just try to focus on a few because you don't need a million of these to start making trades. So under the R, we're going to look for Relative Strength Index. And I want you to focus on this part of the screen for a second. 
when I'm hovering over, you can start to see some changes. So I go under Relative Strength Index, and look, it pops up right there. You can see it. So this is Relative Strength Index. And remember, in my previous videos, I spoke about if it's greater than 70, it's overbought. And if it's greater than, sorry, less than 30, it's oversold. And this gives sometimes clear indications when you're looking at the charts. And we'll just give a clear, quick example of it, because you can refer to my other videos that I explain it. But look, it's lower than 30 here. Look where the stock price was. It was around $28. And then over here, oversold, it was up here and it sold off a little bit. Now it's very bullish today and you can see that, but you can usually follow RSI to see where the trends are going to be. So these are, these are two things you must have. You got the volume, you got the RSI. You go up to your top tabs here, you can go to today, you can go to five minutes. And the only bad part about Fidelity is you see how I clicked on today up here and I have these little lines. If you click on the five minute, it's only under the six minute that I have the bar. So you just have to switch them. So when you go under today, Go back to your, I'm sorry, go back to your settings and then just click this again, go to hollow stick and there it is. Now it's applied, which is a really nice feature. Now I'm going to go under the six month chart and you want to add another technical analysis, which would be under your indicators. You can go to, I like using the EMA <clears throat> and the EMA is just the exponential moving average. So you can just see what the average price people are paying for this. And you can see that it's following this line. And the stock price usually tends to track this, which is nice. And then under indicators, you can add more things. Like I like to add the Bollinger Bands. The Bollinger Bands will show if a stock has been oversold or overbought. And as you hover over it, look, you can see different changes to the chart. And I think this is a really cool feature. So it's Bollinger Bands Trademark BB. And you can see these blue lines. And it's just a good feature to see that when you see it's approaching the top of this, it tends to sell off. And when it's at the bottom of this, it's ever oversold, which is look at here. It's oversold here and look at the RSI is corresponding with it. And then it goes up. Now it doesn't always work out that way, obviously, because the market was very green today, but it's just a cool option to have to add to your charts. Now, if you really want to get technical, you can draw and you can do many things. You can draw a trend line if you want. I don't really recommend this because fidelity is not as smooth as like Weeble or uh, think or swim. But if you want, you can draw trend lines. If you think something is a support level and you're watching it and you think that, hey, this is the support level, I could do this. And you can change the color style if you want. You can make it thicker if you want. And you can see that the line will change once I apply it. And like, there's my trend line. I think, oh, this is the support line. And I just want it there just to have a reference. This could potentially be a support line. So a cool little thing to set up there. I think that's definitely something to look into. The next thing in your charts that I think you that everybody should have is you need to go under trade and orders because you need to trade. So you need to hit directed trade and extended hours. And I'll do another video on this because it doesn't show it. You want to link the tool to the color blue and then you can see it right here. And this gives you a nice little so it'll if you go on AMC, AMC ticker will be in here. And I need to do this when it's a um, actual market hours because it's showing that it's closed and it doesn't show it open. So we'll just close that for now. What everybody, what another thing that you need for your setup is you need to have news and research. This is very important because sometimes a stock starts moving and you have no idea why. And what's really cool, when you click under that news and research, and then you click under news, this will pop up. And you can type in any stock. And remember, with Fidelity Active Trader Pro, if you link the tools to the same color as your chart, every time you switch to your chart, watch this. So I'm gonna move this over here. You see AMC right here? If I switch it to Tesla, it's going to switch to Tesla. So look at that. I just switched to Tesla and this is Tesla too. So that's pretty cool. You can get up to date news. If something, if the stock starts dropping and starts going up, you know, because you click here because you have the, the blue links, they're linked. And then you switch to, let's say Lucid. And look, it trades right with it, which is really cool. So I like to have the news too, so I know what's going on in the market, especially if something is happening and your individual stock is moving and you want to know, is this a good time to get in? That's definitely a good thing to get in. What's cool is you can set price alerts. So you can set alerts on it. So you could do this, you click on alerts, and I want to be alerted when Lucid hits $38.05. You click this blue button, you link it, and now it's already here. So now Lucid is linked, you can set the alert type, and you can do it by a percentage. 
You could do it by 52 week high or low or price movement where you can directly put in the numbers and put in, okay, so when it's 38.9, it'll trigger me and I'll get a message on the queue and it'll let me know. Or I can make it when it's $37, I set alert. So now my alert is set and it's going to tell me that, hey, Lucid has hit these prices, whether it rises above or falls below. And I think that's very useful. So just to reiterate that real quick, you just go under news and research. I'm sorry, you go under alerts and you go set alert, which is really cool. Fidelity Active Trader Pro is that you can go under layout. So after you do this and you put all that stuff in, you go under layouts. You click layouts and then you can save it. So you can save it and just hit save or you can restore the last saved. And that's pretty cool. Now, if you don't want to do that, I mean, you should do that. You should always have something saved because when you log out, it'll automatically log you in. But when you go under layouts, you can just name your name and that's it. And then you can make different ones. Like if you're not trading on your monitors, you only have your laptop, et cetera. And then they have these, which is basically just different layouts that you can try to see if you like them. Personally, I don't use them personally, but they give, it's cool to see them because it gives you other options to think about how would I want my setup to be. And I always think that is important because it gives you opportunity to see more things that Fidelity Trader Pro offers that you might not realize. Now I'm gonna make a video and I'm gonna show more specifically with the trading ticker boxes because there's a lot to learn with those and there's definitely cool little tricks that will make you be able to trade faster. So I will definitely make another video on that. But I... All right, so if you like this video, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely go over more over Fidelity Active Trader Pro. That's what I mainly use to trade. So definitely leave it in the comment section below and if you like it, please subscribe.